Hi, this is Zach with CoEngineer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Contour Select tool in conjunction with Instant 3D to quickly create extrudes or cut extrudes without the need to access the property manager of those features. Now, first, let me state that a contour is anything considered a closed profile. For example, in the sketch you see here, there are multiple overlapping contours or closed profiles. And normally, to create a feature such as a boss extrude, you would not want the contours to overlap. But with the Contour Select tool, I'm going to show you how we can single out one or more of these contours to start a feature. And as I said at the beginning, we're going to do this without actually selecting the Boss Extrude icon using a setting called Instant 3D. This setting will allow us to grab a contour and drag it out into a three-dimensional shape. So to turn this setting on, just go to your Feature Toolbar, and it is called Instant 3D. If you see that it's darkly shaded, that means it's toggled on. If it's not shaded, that means it's off. So just make sure Instant 3D is toggled on. And before we can start dragging the contours out into three-dimensional shapes, we need to enable the Contour Select tool. To do this, you'll just right-click out in the graphics area. And in the right-click menu, it's not shown by default, so we'll have to go to the double arrows at the bottom. And we're going to choose Contour Select Tool. Now you'll see that your mouse is updated with this little icon. That's just to show you that you are in Contour Select mode. So to get started, what we'll do is I'm just going to click on one of these closed profiles. And what you'll see is that you get this little arrow here and you can grab this arrow. It's like a grip and start dragging it. And you'll have a little ruler pop up. And if you keep your mouse inside of the ruler there it will snap to like tenth of an inch increments so I'm just going to drag this out to one inch and let go and as you can see it created a boss extrude in my tree there and by the way if you'd like to change the increments on which the ruler snaps to you can go to your options and go to spin box increments and right here at the top you can change that to whatever value you want now you probably already noticed that as I was hovering over some of these open regions or contours, it was shading them. And that's just to let you know where your mouse is. If you clicked right there, that's the region that it's going to select for you to extrude. So what I'm going to do is extrude out this circle here. But if I hover over the inside of these two circles, you'll see that it's just going to select that closed profile there. If you want to extrude just the circle out, you will click the profile itself. If you want to extrude the circle with the cut in the middle, then you would click inside of those two profiles. And you'll notice that it's not selecting the whole profile because it's just taking the open profile into account. If you want to select all those profiles, you'll hold control down. And while you're holding control down, you'll select all the profiles. And then from there, you can click the little grip here and drag it out and I'm going to drag this out to let's say 0.8 inches and let go. So next in my design what I'm going to do is hold control down and select these two inner profiles of this rectangle and extrude those out to about 0.7 and let go. And now what I'm going to do is select these two outer profiles if I hold the control down, selecting both, grab my little arrow, and I'm going to drag these out to uh, roughly about 3.5 and let go. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to make a cut. What I want to do is take this inner circle here and make a cut extrude through our geometry. To do that, I'm just going to select the circle itself. And as I start dragging through the geometry, because there's already geometry there, it knows that I'm going to make a cut. It just basically assumes I'm going to make a cut. So to do that, you just let go. And by the way, you'll see this little context toolbar pop up. This is just allows you to add draft, or let's say you really wanted that to be a boss instead, you can choose boss and convert that to a boss. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit undo here. Do this one more time. I'm just gonna drag this out to make it cut extrude. 
So you can see that this is a pretty quick way to model things and have everything included in one master sketch. If you expand each one of your features here, you'll see that this sketch is embedded in each one with the little icon that says this is a contour selected sketch. And that's pretty much it for this video. There's much more about the contour select tool and how to use it. This is just how to use it in conjunction with Instant 3D. If you want to see more about the contour select tool, maybe how to apply those contours before you click a boss extrude or after you've already clicked the boss extrude, how to get to the contours. There is another video on that that I highly recommend and I will put the link in the description. Again, this is Zach with Coengineer. Thank you for watching.